guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are all doing really well. And I'm so excited for today's episode because we are finally gonna be joining James and Nelly back in Willow Creek and we're gonna get to see the baby, finally. And we also get to choose a name. You guys gave me so many great name suggestions. So thank you so much. I'm so excited. So with all of that being said, you guys, let's just go ahead and get to it. Okay, so as you guys can see when we enter the game, we are actually in a completely different house. And the reason being is because we actually have moved in Theo and Edward for a short period of time. Now, when Nellie and everyone was at Charles' wedding, you guys might have noticed that Edward and Theo did show up at the wedding. And I had mentioned there, they actually had no jobs. Work has really dried up for them, so unfortunately they are going to get laid off from their acting gigs here today. Um, but Nellie said, you know what? You guys are really having a hard time. Why don't you come stay with me and James for a little bit until you guys get back on your feet? Because because everyone's everyone else's houses are pretty full the thing about Edward and Theo is they really haven't had an opportunity to meet a lot of people yet so it's not like they could just call friends and crash on their couches so um, Nellie being the awesome older sister that she is she said you know what let me help you guys out so what I've done is I've actually gone ahead and I've downloaded a double it's like a duplex um, shotgun style house so on the one side you have Nellie and James's apartment, which is down on the bottom. So we have the two bedrooms over here. The one bedroom is Nellie and James, obviously, and then the other is going to be the little babies. Now, in the last episode with Nellie and James, they escaped the city. They moved to the small town of Willow Creek with the help of... Gianni and Emma and the cops. You know, James went through a whole moment of what do I do? I want my life to be better for my wife and for my child, but at the same time, I don't want to, you know, turn my back on my father because that could be dangerous. And he actually got the opportunity in his career to rat everybody out. He got a way out and he actually basically handed over everything to the cops. So he lost all of his money. He lost his big fancy apartment and his dad is actually currently sitting in jail now. So they changed their last names, if you guys remember in the last episode, because the cops gave them secret identities, you know, new identities, so the mob wouldn't be able to find him. So their last name now is Busby instead of, I can't remember what it was before, but anyways, their last name has been officially changed to Busby is once we age up little Brittany, we can actually change her name because it is not going to be Brittany. It is going to be one that we choose. You have given me so many name suggestions, so I'm super excited about that. Now, I already took into account Edward and Theo's income, and I dropped it down because Nellie and James had like $200,000, but of course they lost that, like I said, during the whole out, the whole, uh, <laughs> What are we, what would we call it? Mex it? Mops it? <laughs> but anyways, so I've already taken the 40% off with um, Edward and Theo and theirs. And I basically just gave them a straight 5k. So if they can't make that work, then that's just too bad. Nellie and James are currently both unemployed, I'm pretty sure. Has he quit his job? Yeah, he doesn't have a job and neither does Nellie. So they're checked off for that. And we just have to get the boys to go ahead and quit their jobs. So Theo is talking to Edward. I think he's like, can you believe, you know, we had our opportunity to have our, you know, finally have our time and now we are back living at our sister's house. So I think Theo's pre feeling pretty low about it because Theo is such a party guy. He loves meeting with people. He loved being an independent guy out on the town. He was able to, you know, hang out with, uh, what was her name? Virginia? Uh, Petunia, he had a little hookup with her, which is actually Nellie's friend, so Nellie's probably gonna have to talk to him about that. But, um, so I think that for Theo, he's definitely feeling really sad about it, whereas Edward's like, don't worry, you know, he's the more calm-headed, more level-headed sim, so he's just gonna say, listen, you know, this is important for us to be able to get back on our feet. We need to live with family right now. So many other people have it way worse. We're lucky that we even had somewhere to go. So, you know, it's gonna work out okay. We just have to be patient. Our time will come. So I am unfortunately going to have to get them to 
instead of looking for gigs, they're gonna have to quit their jobs and then tr probably climb up the the filming ladder again, which is too bad because they were both doing really good. So they're probably gonna have to like fade out of the, the spotlight a little bit. Um, but anyway, so the boys have both quit their jobs. This is their little apartment up here. They have a bathroom and two beds. Nellie is probably coming in to just, oh, she's coming in to sleep. No, nope, that's not your bed, honey. So she's just gonna come in and check on the boys, brighten their day, and just say, you know, you guys are welcome here as long as you need to. I'm really glad that we were able to help you out. We'll just try to come together to make it work. So thank goodness for big sister Nellie, we love her. But I am going to go ahead and get her to spend some time with her little baby, and then I'm going to send the two of them to sleep because it's 10 o'clock and I'm trying a lot harder to get my Sims on a better sleep schedule because they're always going to bed at like two in the morning. And I'm gonna let them go do a little bit of woo-woos. You know, it's been a stressful couple months for them. They, you know, escaped a really scary situation. They thought they were settled. They ended up losing any opportunity to find jobs and now they have her brothers living with her. Oh, and they had a child. So these two have taken on a lot. So I'm actually really happy for the two of them to be able to have a little bit of alone time together without anybody bugging them. They've shut the door in our face. <laughs> So it's the next morning. It is six o'clock in the morning. I love this bed that I downloaded. It is so cool. It makes me think like it is so vintage and so 1930s. I feel so bad because they're entering a really hard time in the winter. So it's gonna be a real struggle for them to like find things and dig up things and make money right now. And they had no plants ready to go unfortunately so hopefully because there's more of them they will have a better chance at finding things oh he looks so sad edward is always trying to be the positive one and like motivate theo because theo gets distracted so much easier um and i think sometimes he has a he struggles with being the, the the only responsible one like you know theo's like hey how's it going i'm gonna go call some girls oh i had a gig i forgot but i'm still gonna do really great because i'm really good looking and i'm talented at everything <laughs> whereas uh edward's always having to work so much harder for everything um theo's like oh i can't believe that i don't get to see any girls so i am gonna get emma to come over and let's just age up this little babalaroo because even though um it's our first time being with the baby the baby's been alive for like she was born like a month ago <laughs> oh diana sent britney a gift <gasps> is britney blonde how is britney blonde that is crazy. I mean, I guess Elias was blonde, so it does ha it is in the family. So we randomized her traits. Oh, she's see it. Tiny troublemakers who love to cry, cause trouble, and throw fits. But being noticed makes them happy and helps them overcome negative moodlets. That actually totally makes sense for Nellie and James's kid to be fussy because James was from a really fabulous, fancy life, and he was a little bit more, you know, materialistic. So for him, them to have a kid that's like a little fussy and that has to like maybe grow out of that lifestyle makes sense to me and she's blonde you guys and she's got green eyebrows but she's blonde oh my gosh i was not expecting her to look like that little cutie the one great thing about these two living here is they live right next to the magic tree and so maybe we can get them to go into that realm and maybe there's more stuff that we can forage there. That's kind of exciting. Um, very cool. Okay, so we've got a little toddler. Let's go ahead and jump into cast, you guys, and take a closer look at Nellie's baby. I can't believe she's blonde, you guys. She looks so much like Elias. Oh my gosh. His jeans are so strong. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into the YouTube comments really quick, you guys, so we can name this little cutie. Okay, you guys, so we're on the two different videos. I had some name suggestions on both, but on the Welcome to the 1930s, I did ask for name suggestions. And I think a couple of you, yes. So down here, Chris P um, said name 
idea. So we've got Joyce, Joan, or Joni. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Margaret, Maggie, love it. Francis and Mildred. Oh my gosh, we could call her little Millie. <gasps> Nellie and Millie, you guys. Oh, that's cute. I really like that. Jasmine says Antoinette or Cindy. Oh, I like that actually. Antoinette is so pretty. Um, Vicma Gaming, Marie, Elsie, Mary, and Ma Margaret. Ooh, Margaret is a very beautiful and very unique name. Girl, Ruthie, Evelyn, or Louise, Nibbles the Mini says. Oh, I like those. Oh, I like, oh, too bad it wasn't a boy. I love Benny. That's, we have to have a Benny, you guys. Oh, and Lady Sweetheart Sim says Roslyn. We already have a Roslyn in our medieval series. I do love that name, but I shouldn't repeat it. Elizabeth and Evelyn. So we have two Evelyn. So maybe we'll go with Evelyn just because that's kind of like the overarching name. Um, I love Ruthie. Oh, there's so many good names. I need to have so many babies. Um, so I think we'll go with Evelyn this time. So thank you so much, you guys, for all of the name suggestions. I honestly love them all so much. We could call her Evie for short or Eve. Oh, cute. Um, so I will meet you guys back in the game. Oh, that's actually so cute, you guys. Evie Busby. Ah, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and give this little cutie pie a makeover, and I will be right back. Alrighty, you guys. So I just finished Evelyn, and I think she looks so cute. I honestly can't believe how much, like, Elias she looks like. I wasn't expecting that. Like, this looks like it could be either Emma or Harry's daughter because... The genes of Alice is so strong with Nelly that I'm genuinely shocked. That being said though, we also have James's genes to account for. So here is little Evelyn. I tried to keep the outfits really simple because Nelly and James have gone from a life of wealth to a life of not much. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense that you'd have beautiful dresses and stuff and they don't have a lot of money right now. So I just try to keep it really simple color palette and yeah, I think she's super cute though. I like I said, just shocked. She looks like she should be Harry's daughter. That's all I'm going to say. Um but anyways, let me know what you guys think of Evelyn and let me know what you guys think of her name. I'd love to hear your thoughts and let's go ahead and jump back into the game. Okay, so it's not much, but I was able to get her a couple bits and bobs. So I have like a little, um, we have like a little dollhouse for her. We've got the little blocks. She got a little uh, teddy bear. I don't know why, but I was just like feeling like periwinkle and like yellow in this room. <laughs> and I got her little bed and then she's got a little toy box and I got her potty in the bathroom. And over here we have a little high chair. Okay, so she's gonna eat, so I'm gonna send the guys out. So Edward and Theo have agreed to go try to rummage through garbages and do the whole thing. I'm sure Theo is not happy about it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like James would be like okay with it because he's like, yeah, I'll get my hands dirty. I'm sure he's done a lot of things that he's not happy about in his life, whereas Theo is a little bit more of a pretty boy. He's like, you want me to what? With who? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna send them over to the park here in Willow Creek and hopefully they'll be able to find some stuff. The great thing is they live so close to, um, to Emma and Gianni that if they really need anything, they're gonna be okay. Okay, so we are at the park and I am not hoping for much, but I'm just gonna look around and see if there's anything that I can grab or have them dig up. Oh, they can do some looking for frogs. You go look for frogs, and Edward, you can go this way. So Edward is killing it. He is looking up so much stuff. He ha has found a lot of stuff. Theo has found a couple things. Theo is trying his best to get into this hole. Yay, let me do some digging lifestyle. <laughs> oh, where did you get a guitar from? Did you find it when you were looking for stuff? Wow, you did really good, Edward. He found a lot of cool stuff. I think we've got everything that we're gonna be able to get here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm going to travel with everyone and I'm gonna send them over to, um, over to visit um, Emma and 
Gianni so little cute Evelyn can meet little Diana and then they'll have a little friend group. I'm so excited. So the family's arrived here. Oh, our bills are gonna be cut off soon, so that's good. Well, that sounds so bad. So I'm gonna get little Diana to come over and babble. You can go wherever you want. So she's a little scared. She's not as great, but she needs amusement and she is <laughs> under my thumb. Someone paid attention to my completely reasonable outburst. Outburst, who says tantrums aren't useful? Ooh, she's a little cheeky one, isn't she? So here they are having a little bit of a visit. Just ignore the clipping of the hat. <laughs> um, so cute. They're playing dolls together and talking. Uh, let's do friendly. Oh, let's do invite to play dolls. Oh my gosh, are you guys gonna play dolls together? Aw, and Edward, Uncle Edward is watching over them. This is the great thing about this family. It's such a big family. Everyone is so close. So like every everyone's always there to take care of each other. You know what I mean? And especially in times like that, families, uh, people did tend to have quite a few kids and, and they ended up getting to um, know each other a lot more. Oh, look, they're playing dolls together. They would be a lot closer, so I think that's really cool. Like, they're just like best little besties. I love that the uncles are watching over everyone. Oh, sorry, James. He's like, oof. <laughs> so I want these two to get to know each other. Can you do a hug? And let's do friendly and babble. And let's do friendly and do a loving hug. I want these two to be really good friends. In the last episode of Decades, little Diana met Ami and they're so cute. So now I'm gonna have like this little friend group between the three little girls. But it made me realize we have so many girl babies in our Sims. So I hope that we start getting some sons soon. The only son, um, the only boy grandchild we have so far is little Stanley. And he is a little bit older than these girls. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Diana is just so full of love. She's like, let me love everybody. Okay, so while the little cuties are hanging out, I'm gonna have Nellie come downstairs and chat with Emma. I think that it's so cool because for a long time, Emma was missing her sister so much. She was so worried about her, and now they're both living in the same town. So, you know, like to have them be able to live so close to each other again and start getting close again, I think that makes Emma so happy. So I want them to spend some time together. There we go. Um, let's see. Let's bring up an embarrassing childhood moment. She's like, you know, remember that time? So, you know, they're starting to bond again and getting closer again. And I think that's all Emma really wanted. Emma is just feels this such a strong sense of responsibility um, for her siblings that she always gets involved where it's not her place. And I actually think I'm going to get them to ask about other Sims. Do we have Hiromi? Let's ask about Hiromi. She'll be like, you'll never believe it. Harry and Hiromi are together. I like Hiromi. She's pretty cool. Ah! So she's like t gossiping about Harry and being like, yeah, I pushed him. And they're actually dating now. I don't know if it's going to work out. But, you know, he's got to get a woman because he needs a wife. You know, and back then that was such a strong mentality of like the man needing a wife to do the cooking and the cleaning and caring for the children. Like right now to be a single father, like it was unheard of, you know. So, um, of course, Emma's like, I need to fix the situation. Oh, but our little Babalaroo is so tired. She is going to wobble over to herself and oh, she's wandering. She's so cute. Look at her. Aww. I love this family so much. Yeah, she's really upset. Okay, so I'm going to send everybody home now because it's getting pretty late. But I'm so glad that everyone got to hang out and that little Evelyn got to meet Diana. Oh, she broke. That was definitely broken at the hands of Evelyn. Ooh, her and her tantrums. She's got a little bit of a temper. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and send everyone home, you guys, and I will meet you back there. Alrighty, so we are back home. Everyone has made it home. Our bills have been delivered. How much are they? $16.58. We can't pay them. So Edward has some stuff in his... He has a book. Oh, he has a screenplay. 
Phyllis pr uh, Broomies. Aw, genre is a screenplay by Norm Solomon. Phil is a practical spellcaster, and Oliver studies mischief. They've been friends since childhood, but can they handle living together? Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is a screenplay that he's been working on that mimics his relationship with Theo since they've moved out together. Because, you know, he, like I always said, he was more of the creative of the two of them in the sense where he, like, really loved, like, the development and the, um, the creative process that goes into creating a movie or a film. And now he has this screenplay and it's about two brothers or two l lifelong friends now living together. Uh, so there's the practical spellcaster and a mischievous one. And that is a perfect mirroring image of the two brothers. Oh, I love that. Um, but let's go ahead. He got some frogs, so we'll sell those. And he has some, he has some stones we can sell. And I think, yeah, he took the guitar from here. And he found some fossils, so we will extract the fossils. And one's worth 40 and 15. Well, he did pretty good. And what about Theo? What do you have in your inventory? He got a couple frogs. That's good. And he got two upgrade parts. So they made a little bit of money today. Um, did the baby get put to sleep? James must have put her to sleep already. And James has gone to sleep. So she's just listening to the radio show while she gets her house cleaned up for the evening. The boys have all gone to sleep. They were able to see their family today and they also were able to do a little bit of scavenging. So that's nice. And she also made franks and beans for everyone. So at least there is some hot food in the house. So James is actually woken up really tense because he's feeling the need to swipe. Being a kleptomaniac is hard, constantly needing to swipe objects. It would be hard to just automatically drop that type of lifestyle when you're so used to being, um, you know, a in the crime business to go from that to, to not wanting to do it, especially now that his family is suffering financially. He's like, what were we thinking? We should have just stayed in it. Like, you know, he's really struggling with those thoughts of like, should I be maybe trying to start something of my own, maybe start my own ring, you know, maybe not work for my dad. I can do things differently. Maybe I can do it safer, maybe a little bit more responsible. Could be less, you know, less damage or less violence that's done, you know, something really small and simple. You know, he has the ability and the talents to do so. And now that he has a daughter and like they're suffering so much financially and he's so used to living such a fabulous, wealthy lifestyle, I think that James is like, debating whether or not he should maybe pursue a few things because why work for your dad when you can you know you have put the competition basically you got him locked up in jail why work for him when you could maybe run your own business oh little little Evelyn has woken up so I think we'll get him to come over here he is feeling flirty he's a very romantic sim that's another thing like just everything about James when it comes to his lifestyle um, you know he is so used to spoiling um, Nelly also like he's always taking her on big dates oh look at her throwing a little tantrum he's got a little spoiled daughter I'll tell you that much <laughs> But, um, you know, he's used to that and like the fact that now he can't give that to her or his daughter or go out on fancy dinner dates, like all of that. Like, I don't know, you guys. I, I'm not sure if James is going to stay a good guy forever. <laughs> Nellie's there looking over their little baby. I can't believe that their daughter's blonde. I know I've said that before. I'm just shocked. But you know what? It's in the genes. It makes sense. But I was just expecting her to look... Because Nelly looks so much like Alice, I was expecting their daughter to look so much like her. And if you guys remember, Nelly herself used to be a dancer and a performer, and she actually moved to the city to start her own life. And I think that she's feeling sad. She's cold right now, but I think that she's struggling too with like, did we make the right choice? Like we gave up a lot to live a, a, a better lifestyle but she's like I don't see what's better about this because you can see how fabulous she's dressed she's used to a certain degree of uh, treatment also you know so I think I'm gonna get her to teach Evelyn how to dance because that would be something that um, she would like to do also 
and we've got Edward over here. It's a very, it's a house full of very creative people. We've got dancers, we've got musicians and actors. So it's a, it would be a really fun environment to be in, you know? Like you've got the dancers, you've got the singers. Hey Theo, how about you change into your cold weather so you feel better? Here you go. And why don't you do some dancing too? He is a dance machine also, so we've got a whole household full of dancers here. Look at little Evelyn. Oh, she's angry and she has to go bathroom. And she's just using her diaper. Look at her bopping along. Everyone's dancing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I love that Edward has just decided on his own that he's just gonna pick up the guitar. Uh, it makes sense though, because his mom is a very creative person, so. I think with all of that you guys I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave this part here we have Nellie and James both questioning their decision to leave their lifestyle so I think that's definitely gonna play out in the next few episodes here and then we have the beautiful little cutie who is a grumple lumpus going to sleep Evelyn aged up she is absolutely adorable and we have Edward and Theo currently living here trying to figure out what their next move is going to be until they can finally get jobs again so in one sim week the these two will be able to move back to the acting world uh, but at least they were able to spend time with their family and visit with Emma and Gianni and with Doris and get to meet if you guys enjoyed this part please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Evelyn's makeover and her name so thank you so much you guys for watching as always I really appreciate it and until next time I'm gonna say bye for now <laughs>